So, this is a little bit I decided to add to the beginning of that video that you're about to watch. I had a brain fart. Ignore this number here that I said was a maximum. It is actually one less than that. So when I'm referring to number 65,536, what I actually meant was 65,535. So if I ramble incoherently for a little bit of part of uh, the video about something not working, that's what I was rambling about. I'm an idiot and I had the wrong number. Everybody uh, decided I'd do a little tutorial. Ah, uh, because I turned my fan off. Okay. I decided to do a tutorial because numerous people have asked. Uh, this is going to be for uh, doing lib edits in uh, Unity games. Uh, not the DLL ones, but the ones that you can dump with uh, IL2 CPP dumper. Uh, this is the page for it. Over here on the right, you'll see releases. Go there, and uh, you have to have a PC. And you can download the latest version, extract it, simple to run, shouldn't need instructions on that. So, <clears throat> uh, what you're going to do is use this program to dump the game that I'm, uh, or whatever game. If you're, doing, if you're following this tutorial, use it for, I think it's Ace Fighters. If you're using it for a different game, then, you know, you get the picture, I think. <laughs> anyway, uh... You extract the file to your game, you dump it, and then you'll have a CS file that'll be created by this. And uh, what you'll do is search for uh, gold, open it in a text editor like Notepad++, <clears throat> search for the word gold, and in the results you'll see uh, this right here that's selected where it says calc, well, first it says uh, public static int. And means integer, which just means a whole number. And that's what we're covering, is how to edit these methods that are integer methods, which are whole numbers. Anyway, public static int calc gold for score. So up above that, you see offset, and then you see a number. And that is the offset from the beginning of the... Uh, IL2CPP.SO file that's loaded in the memory in Game Guardian. So, might sound complicated, might not. Either way, what you're going to do is you're going to copy that, that number there, the 0xAC589C. So, copy that, and on your device, you're going to open the game. Let it load a little bit, make sure everything's loaded in the memory. And go over here to the uh, last tab and press the menu, menu button next to it. Then press go to and then press XA. And here you'll see libil2cpp.so right here select that press go to and I, I'll normally save this to the save list in case I have to go back to it so now long press on it offset calculator so paste in what you copied Get rid of this 0x at the beginning, because Game Guardian doesn't use that part. Press go to. Again, I'm going to save that just in case I get lost here. All right, so this line right here is the start of that method. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can edit it, but it depends on... Uh, how big of a value you want to set it to. So, real quick, hold on. Go <clears throat> to my notepad. So, 
you see right there push and then the numbers you see add and then these numbers so quick breakdown of what it is the add or sub or mall you see all these on the left side here those are all called mnemonics that's basically the uh the instruction, the ARM instruction that you're giving it, what what kind of instruction it is. And then after it, you see these R0, R1, R2, those are operands, they're registers, the R0, R1, R2, anything from R0 to R12 are valid ones. Um, and, uh, and they can be set different ways, like add, uh, it could just be uh, R0, R1, R2, and what that basically means for add is R0 is going to equal R1 plus R2. So, and then over here you see it could be R0, and, and again, any register, I'm just using R0 and R1 as an example, but R0, R1, and then number sign 256. So that means R0 equals R1 plus 256. Uh, you can't use a number higher than 256. So you can use 1 through uh, 256. Same thing for subtract. <clears throat> uh, mul is multiply, and it works the same way. R0 equals R1 multiplied by R2. And then you see move that just MOV, that means move or set. So basically you're setting R0, in this example, to 256. Again, for move, it cannot be higher than 256. For values higher than 256, you use MOVW, and, uh, and that can be uh, any value up to 65,536. So what I'm going to do is show you, first I'll show you how to set it to... Uh, a value like this one right here, the, the 65,536. And then after that, I'm going to show you what you do to, to set a value higher than that. Uh, and uh, we'll start on that in just a second after I take a little break here. All right. So now, hopefully the game's still loaded. Yes. All right. So what we're going to do... First, I will show you how to set a small number. Press the uh, tilde button over here, a little squiggly one. Capital A, because this is for arms seven, uh, not for arm eight. And there's gonna be a link in the description. In case you have a 64-bit device, uh, you wanna install the game from the link in the description. That's the ARM7 or the 32-bit version. So, tilde and then A. And uh, for a small number, MOV space R0. Now the reason <clears throat> I'm setting it to R0 is because uh, when these methods in the Unity games return a value, uh, at the end of the method. Typically, it's stored in R0. So, R0, and then first, uh, real quick, I'm gonna show you what happens if you try to set it higher than uh, 256. Invalid opcode. All right, so, 256. There's that, and then, All right, yes. Wanted to make sure I had that right. Hold on. <laughs> Ignore that part. All right. So then, the line under it, we are going to change to BX space LR. Uh, that basically ends the ends the method right there uh, below below these lines in this method any number of things can be happening like you see cmp that means something's being compared so what could be happening down here somewhere is uh 
it could be comparing what you're trying to set it to to the valid values for it. And if it's not valid, then you're going to uh, cause error or trigger cheat detection or any number of things. So instead, we're setting the value it's going to return right there on the first line, ending the method on the next one. Okay. Now, if you want to set it to uh, a number higher than that, Instead, we'll use MOVW and uh, uh, that is correct. Okay, yeah. Again, so it wasn't just me. Uh, that number should have worked. It'll work if you put it in uh, an ARM converter. But anyway, so 65,000. the second line. Again, to BX space LR, uh, that is going to give you uh, 65,000. Set the reward value for this particular method, 65,000. Now, what if you want to set it to higher than 65,536, which should have worked, but didn't. But anyway, if you want to set it higher, it's going to take a couple more lines. So here's what we're going to do. First line we are going to set to we're going to set the the operand or register uh, R1 to 65,000 and then the next line we are going to set the operand it's going to be a smaller number so the operand R2 to 10. And then, on the third line, we're going to use a different operand, a uh, different mnemonic, I should say, which is mul, which you saw in that list I showed you, which means multiply. And we're going to do mall R0 because R0 is, uh, again, the value that gets returned at the end of the method. And then R1, which we set to 65,000. And then R2, which we set to 10. And then on the fourth, oops, <clears throat> fourth line, we are again going to set it to BX space LR and end the method right there. So what we just did is uh, set R0, what's going to return, to R1, 65,000, times multiplied by R2, which is 10, which will end up being 650,000. So I'm going to show you real quick which won't take long because this works uh, win or lose so I'm going to crash my plane into the ground <laughs> or into the water alright as you can see mission income Oop. go back mission income 650,000 go back uh, I guess I don't know if anyone's paying attention to the money I'll show you one more time uh, at the moment I got a little bit a little bit more than three and a half million Another, all right. As you can see, I now have over four million. So, um, 
There's my uh, first tutorial on library editing. Hopefully you guys can understand me. I know I tend to mumble sometimes. But those are the basic, uh, basic arithmetic mnemonics for ARM7. And, uh, and hopefully you have a little bit of understanding as to how they work now. Anyway, uh, if you guys want more tutorials similar to this, uh, just let me know. You can let me know. In the comments, even though I don't check the comments that often, you're better off heading to my new Telegram group because I lost my old phone number, so there is now a new group because I can no longer uh, administrate the old one. So uh, stopping by the new group, uh, the uh, link to which is going to be in the description. Let me know there uh, or let me know in the comments here. Anyway, everybody have a good one.